how does it happen that, it happen that you find yourself here in Jagade? Well, I came to Jagade for the first time about nine, ten months ago because my grandmother was from Jagade. She left Jagade, Jagad, as it was then known to the Jewish community, in uh, 1906 at the age of 12 and went to South Africa. And I'm researching a book um, about my family's odyssey from Lithuania. My grandfather came from Shole, from Shavel. And as part of the research on the book, which traces my family from here to South Africa, then on to Britain, then on to the United States and Israel, um, I came here. So what were the results of your research? Did you pick up a lot of material? Well, I picked up quite a lot of material. Unfortunately, all the documents in towns like Jaga relating to the Jewish community had been destroyed uh, from that period. But um, I certainly absorbed the atmosphere of, of Jaga. Um, I felt this ghostly presence of the Jewish community here. It was a very important Jewish community, a very large Jewish community. At one time, Jaga was important in Jewish learning, Jewish Kabbalism, and um, it gave me a strong sense of the woods. My grandmother always talked about the woods in Jaga, where she used to walk as a child, and she also used to talk about the Spangolyu, and I never really knew what the Spangolyu were, and of course coming here I've discovered that Spangolyu are cranberries, and she used to pick cranberries, I guess, in the woods, and uh, she always remembered the fruit, the cherries, the strawberries, but particularly the Spangolyu. So, um, I think really for my book I, I absorbed uh, the atmosphere of the shtetl and of course in towns, in a town like Jagger, a lot of the old shtetl houses are still here, the old wooden structures. So it's not that difficult, for example this square, to imagine it uh, full of Jewish market stalls, Jewish shopkeepers, um, you still feel it. So one can tell that it's uh, not only simply a biographical book, but it has something to do with the culture of the past, with the Jewish culture. In the yeah, it's a book. Uh, I mean, I, I'm two generations on from my grandparents. I was raised mainly in London. Uh, I was raised, um, my name is Cohen, I was clearly Jewish, but I was raised really without, with very little uh, Jewish culture, Jewish identity. And my book tries to look at um, the new opportunities that come with upheaval, with moving every generation, but also the price in terms of the cost in terms of the loss of identity, the way it's very hard to carry on the transmission um, of identity down uh, through the generations when you're being uprooted um, every, every generation. So it's a book about, it's a family story, uh, I hope it's a, an interesting story in itself, but it's also a book about displacement, um, identity, state of Israel, um, and the life of Jews in the 20th century.